hello friends welcome to the video tutorial of booking app by webcool for shopify today in this video we will learn how to add different type of bookings to our existing shopify stored products and allow the customer to select any of their preferable slots from the front end and book the slot for the service so first of all you need to install this app to your store for this you need to visit the shopify app store and here you will get this booking app by webcool just click this add app button clicking this button you will be straight away redirected to your shopify store again and once the app is installed the app will be listed here in the app section so clicking this app you'll be redirected to this booking product section and from here you can add different type of book booking as per your booking scenarios as per the different business so suppose i want to add one day booking so here i'm selecting this product and i want to add one day booking service for this product so clicking this button i'll be asked to select a variant first selecting this variant i will be clicking this proceed button clicking this button you will be redirected to this page from where you can view all the product information and you can select here whether you want to add single user booking or multi user booking for this product suppose you have selected single user booking then you can allow only one customer to book a slot at a time if you are selecting multi user booking then you can allow multiple customers to book a slot at a time so i am selecting here single user booking and from this location section you can select your location preferences like whether you want to offer the service to your customer on your own location on on customer's location if you are selecting on your own location that is on admin side then you need to enter your location here like your address if you are selecting the customer side then the customer will be responsible that where he want to get the service you can also skip this section in the availability section you need to select this one day booking and select the duration up to which you want to provide this booking to the customer and you can enable the weekdays when you want this booking to be available for the customers suppose i am not enabling these two particular days like saturday and sunday so the booking will not be available on these two days so moving on to the override specific days section here from this feature you can close booking for some particular duration or on any particular date suppose i am selecting this particular date 20 20th of may and add this booking so this booking will be closed on 20th of may moving on to the custom information section here if you want to show any additional information related to your booking product on front end then you can simply add the title and description of your product and add this this is the custom field section so if you want to get some additional information from your customers related to your booking so you can simply add this custom field like I want my customer to enter their age so I am selecting here this text area and click this custom add button to add this custom field so this custom field will be visible to my customers on front end and once I've added all the details just click this save button here the booking slot has been successfully updated so in order to make this particular booking product visible for the customer on front end we need to configure the front end first for this we need to auto inject the code from here in order to show the booking widget and to show the booking information in the customers my account section you need to inject this particular code so you can automatically inject the code just by clicking this button you can also do it manually from here so as soon as you configure your front end you can view this one day booking on front end like this here you can see the one day booking so the customer will select a date and the number of guest here 
and clicking this book now button you can book any of the product similarly suppose I want to add appointment type booking that is suppose I want to add dental booking service so I'll select the booking product here like doctor's appointment here and clicking this add button I'll be selecting the variant first and clicking this proceed button you can again visiting this edit booking product section where you can enter all the details related to your dental booking service and in the availability section you need to select this appointment type and this appointment type booking you need to select a duration In the duration, you need to select the start date and the end date when you want to make this booking service valuable for the customer. Similarly, you can enable the weekdays and here you need to create the slot timings. Here, the time slots are created. Similarly, you can add as many slots as you can. This is the per booking timing. This is the time taken for each slot. And this is the rest time. That is the time between the two slots. And this way you can add the appointment type details. And similarly, you can add the rest of the fields and clicking the save button. So let's see how this appointment type booking will be visible to your customers on front end. So this is the front end view of your appointment type booking. So the customer will be selecting a date on which he wants to book the appointment and he need to select a time slot and then the number of guests and click this book now button to book this product. Similarly, you can add different booking products like I want to add rent type booking. Here I need to select the product and the variant for this product here. So in this rent type booking, you need to fill all the details related to your rent type booking. So in this rent type booking, you need to select a duration when you want your customer to rent this product. Suppose I have selected this duration. So you can simply save this from here. Suppose I want to add time details also to rent this service. Then I need to select a duration from here. And add a per booking timing. That is the time taken for each slot. So you can let's see how these two booking type like rent type and rent type with time will be visible on front end. In the rent type booking the customer need to select the start date and the end date just to rent the service like this book now button but in the rent type with time the customer need to select a start date as well as a start time slot and the end date and the end date time slot and I enter the number of guests here and click this book now button similarly if you want to add concert type booking then you need to add the day wise booking like you need to select the start and end date and add the slot here similarly you can add different slots here and click the save button and the same will be visible to your customers like this the customer need to select the day wise slots like this and the customer will select the slot and book this product and in this concept type with time the start date will be the date along with the time and the end date will be also the date along with the time this way you can create the slots and the same will be visible to your customers like this on front end.
start date time and the end date time and these are available in the form of slots and the slots will be selected by your customer and the customer will simply book the service this way you can view these six different type of booking you can add any of this booking type as per your booking scenario and allow the customer to book your slots now let's see how this booking products will be visible to your customer now each customer will view his booking details from his my account section just by clicking this order ID and here you can view this book view booking detail clicking this button the customer can view the details related to booking so this is all about the booking app by webcoin thank you for watching this video have a good day